Антон, сначала фотографирование, а потом уже пресс-панкоп. Сначала вы, а потом вы. Enter the pictures first and then the press conference. Now let's move sideways. Great. For the entire crew, for, for both NASA and uh, for Anton, for Roscosmos and Samantha in both English and, and Italian, how are you feeling about your level of excitement in the final two weeks before your flight? Well, I'll say, um, on the one hand, it's very exciting. It's unbelievable that we're actually flying down to the Cosmodrome today. It's been a long training trip, and it's really exciting to be doing that. And uh, I'm not going to think about the launch. I'm just thinking about what we're doing tomorrow and the fit check. And, and uh, I try to keep that in the distance and not think about it too much right now. But it's going to be, walking off the rocket's going to be awesome. You want to answer in Italian, Smith? Yeah, that's fine. Um, it's just amazing to be at this point where we're actually finally ready to go to go to Baikonur. It's been a crazy couple of days getting everything ready, packing uh, everything, uh, and so right now I'm just enjoying this feeling of, you know, everything is done. It's just a gratifying feeling. Now we'll be on that we'll be on that airplane in, in a couple of hours. We'll be flying to Baikonur, and and we'll be in another world for two weeks. We will be really focusing on on, on this flight. It's like you know entering a tunnel where you kind of can tune out a lot of the noise of the world, and then you're just getting more and more ready to to jump on that on that rocket in a couple of weeks. So um, an amazing mix of just uh, being gratified with what's happened and being excited about what's coming. And it's, uh, it's interesting to, uh, I've packed for a lot of business trips in my career, but packing to go to space is a different experience, so that's, that's been an, unique. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, <clears throat> Eh, è incredibile di essere finalmente arrivati al momento in cui è ora di, di, di partire di prendere l'aereo per, per Baikonur sono stati gli ultimi due o tre giorni veramente frenetici um, dal punto di vista dei preparativi fare le valigie, fare le valigie per, per il dopo fare le valigie per Baikonur um, completare tutto, tutto quello che c'è da fare prima di uh, in un paio d'ore prendere quell'aeroplano che ci porterà a Baikonur e lì veramente eh, hai già la sensazione di essere, di essere quasi partita perché sei in una sorta di tunnel sei isolata, schermata da, da, da molto del rumore del mondo e per due settimane saremo veramente concentrati e ci prepareremo alla, alla partenza che ormai è vicinissima. Quindi è un misto di un senso di gratificazione per tutto quello che è, che è stato fatto e ormai completato e naturalmente una, un non vedere l'ora che arrivi il momento della partenza. And uh, Congratulations, Anton. Anton. Be on the space station. Yes, sir. Anton. Yeah. Scott, see you in 135 days. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.